let's briefly look at optimization tasks for the network analyst. And here is just a very short list of some optimization tasks that you may find yourself using. First of all, we can look at the traffic at the ingress or egress point of a network to see how much bandwidth is in use getting out to the internet. We can also do that inside an infrastructure to see if there are any points where we're reaching saturation. We can watch the traffic during file transfers and examine the packet sizes to see if we have an application that is sending data using small packet sizes, which is certainly much less efficient than using full packet sizes. Under the title of optimization tasks, we may also be looking at response times across a network. This also fits under troubleshooting. This is where we may look at the time between a SYN and a SYNAC. So here's the SYN packet going out from a client to make a connection on a server, and we look at the amount of time from the SYN to the SYNAC. Here we'd be measuring at the client to see what the round trip time is across the network. We can also use Wireshark to validate proper system configurations. Let me take you out to a trace file and show you an example of when we might be interested in altering the configuration on a host. I'm opening up the trace file called http cheese 101. This trace file consists of somebody going out to a website. And yes, they're going out to the cheeseburger.com website, but I'm just using this as an example. Now, when clients make connections to servers, the client in the TCP SYN packet defines what its capabilities are. Here we can see frame number five is a SYN packet and the client states that its maximum segment size is 1460 bytes. It uses window scaling with a multiplier of four and selective acknowledgements is permitted. In the SYNAC packet coming back from the server, we can see its maximum segment size and that it does support selective acknowledgements and its window scaling size is 64 times. So that looks pretty good, but let's use this trace file to find out if there are any servers that are using smaller window scaling values than 64. We'll be using a display filter to find these packets, and then we'll simply look through the info column to identify any servers that are using window size values that appear to be too small. There is a class focusing specifically on display filters. The class is called Create and Apply Display Filters, and that is something that you must master when you want to become a good network analyst. For this example, I'm going to simply apply a filter based on the summary of the flags line in the TCP header. I'm just interested in seeing SYNAC packets. So I'll right mouse click on that line and choose Apply as Filter based on the selected value. Now I'm only looking at Synax coming back from servers. Focusing on the Info column, I'm looking at the Window Scale value. Here we can see Window Scale value of 64, which is good. There's 512, that's great. And I'll keep scrolling down until I see, ah, window scale value of 2. Now that's not very high for a server. And as I keep scrolling down, I continue to see some servers that use a smaller window scale value. I can also see a server that does not support window scaling at all, and it also does not support selective acknowledgements. If this were a server I was in charge of managing, I'd probably want to go and fix the configuration on that server. In the next section, we'll be looking at application analysis tasks for the network analyst.